Hi everyone, Emma here. I have a quick AliExpress, um, I guess I'm calling it a haul, but <laughs> is it really a haul? <laughs> it's just this stuff here. Anyway, let's move this aside and take a look at what we have. So I ordered one of these, it came with um, needles and I guess, let me uh, adjust the there we go. Um, so it's a container to hold your, can I just, oh, that's just a piece of cellophane. Uh, uh, it's not, there we go. It's to hold your needles. And um, so yeah, it's really nice. It's wood with the metal um, screw. And it's actually quite big. So right now, um, some of my needles are in these containers and um, I had ordered some needles and this is how they came in this kind of test tube situation which I actually kind of like because I can see the needles so I know these are my used needles you can see how bent they are and I can also see their collapsibles and these ones so uh, I'm thinking uh, the, you know what these were for some different needles and these needles I got from Jill Wiseman this was great because it was I got the different sizes and I think it was like 25 needles for a few dollars so um, yeah you can see I'm already down quite a bit anyway uh, so that's what I was doing I have a little container on my desk and I put them there so when I need when I feel like I need a new needle, I, I do it and I tend to go through them a lot because there's a lot of bending of needles. Anyway, so I ordered this. This was about three or four dollars and free shipping. And it came with the, um, um, I don't know what they call these, uh, self-threading needles. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize that these are sewing needles and not beading needles. Um, which really doesn't matter because I was buying it for this. Um, just as a quality issue, I do find that this is tarnished. I had, initially I I was gonna do a com or um a complaint with uh, AliExpress, but I don't know. I I think a part of my um dissatisfaction with it was probably because I got something I didn't realize I was getting which was these needles so that's kind of my mistake and what it was is I was when I started looking at these I started trying to get some comparison prices for cheaper prices and when I start to do that that's when I forget to pay attention to all the items and what the specifics are and that's how I ended up with these needles so that's my mistake but anyway it is really nice and I could probably um, polish this up with my um, polish that I use for my pennies for making buttons so that's that let's put that aside and get rid of those so the other thing that I got and I am looking at doing some um, bead embroidery and I was looking at some cabochon and I knew that these were super tiny. Now, when you look at them this way, and let's enlarge this and open the package. When you look at it this way, they look really cheap and junky. Now, I'm pretty sure I didn't pay very much for them. You can see. So you see the plastic on the back and you're like, oh, these look terrible. But you know what? They're actually really pretty on the front. And I think that's why I had bought them. They did look really amazing. So initially, and that's why I have these aside because I have some others that are stunning. Um, initially when I got them, I'm like, oh, why did I buy this junk? Right. But you know what? They actually look pretty amazing so I'm gonna leave my opinion for once I use them because like if you see you put them together they look pretty stunning so once you put other beads around them and stuff I think they're gonna look amazing so this is like a cream color so let's uh, put these I'm gonna put them in a container and organize these so that I have 
a um, kind of bead embroidery cabochon box. I have one of these filled with cabochons that are bigger ones that I got from Jill Wiseman. I think it was in a grab bag. So let's go ahead and put these here. And I get these from the dollar store. I think they're about a dollar fifty in Canada. Um, Cause you know, dollar stores aren't a dollar anymore. <laughs> it's been years since that's been the case. So actually let's keep this here so we can put these in. The pinks are kind of nice. Again, when you look at them in the bag, they look kind of junky, but if you flip them over and see this lovely iridescence, AB kind of stuff, they look amazing. So let's put these in here. And there's a hundred in this package, you can see. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, I will uh, give you the link. Right now, I don't post all the links because it's the amount of stuff that I order is just ridiculous. So, um, and I don't get paid by AliExpress to do these. So if I gave you the link, it's because I'm trying to help you out, save some time for looking for these things. Let me tell you how to the size of these. But, um, so yeah, I have no problem getting you the link. But you know what? These came up right away when I did a uh, search. So these are six millimeter. And let's look at it this way. You can see how high they are, which is kind of neat. So they are uh, three millimeter deep. Get rid of this wrapper. So I've been kind of chilling on the shopping. After my um, studio tour, I was like, oh my gosh, don't let my wife in my office anymore. She actually doesn't like coming in my office because she starts to worry. We watch American Picker and, you know, sometimes they do, they show people that are hoarders and uh, that kind of stuff stresses her out. So these ones are actually really neat. So, yeah, there's the silver. Anyway, um, she comes in my office, like she'll come in to ask me about something and She's like, oh my goodness, I don't, I don't feel comfortable being in here. <laughs> it scares me. <laughs> but funny thing is, then when I talk about it and say, oh, I feel bad. I bought so much stuff. She's like, oh, you know, it's your hobby. Don't worry about it. Like we don't, we don't drink. This one's stuck together. We don't drink. The only time... You know, the odd time we go out for breakfast and sometimes we go out for dinner, but like all of that hasn't happened much since COVID. So, and we haven't traveled, so we don't spend a lot of money. I rarely buy clothes. So that's my <laughs> making excuses. Anyway, now this one is interesting. And again, I was not paying attention to the sizes. I don't know why. Because I thought these were bigger. But, you know, that happened. Here's the other thing. I um, These are basically an image that is glued on to these. And they cut around it. Um, so it looks really cheap. But you know what? Once you put these, and let me enlarge this a bit. Once you put these on a something that you're going to do bead embroidery and bezel, it looks really nice. So by itself, you're like, oh, I don't know. But yeah, I think, you know, if you had some gold color beads around these or you could make earrings out of them, bezel them for earrings, I think they would look awesome. So... I think sometimes I am disappointed just I get a bunch of stuff and it comes in these like cellophane packages they look super cheap 
yet like these I think were reorders because they were so incredible I wanted to make sure I got some of these colors right but when I got them in the package I'll show you they came like this and I was like ew <laughs> which is terrible I ordered them I wanted these colors so why am I I got one massive package and it just was this one strand here's the other thing is I feel really bad for the amount of uh, paper and plastic like the bubble envelope and the carbon used to ship these on a boat and fly them and driving from the, the postal carrier and stuff I'm like for like a strand of like 50 cent strand of beads I'm like oh anyway so that's my excuse for buying like 10 of these instead <laughs> You're not buying it, right? I better put these in a different container. Put them in with my crystal container. It's a good way to organize these. Because normally after an unboxing video, I spend time organizing stuff. So let's take a look at these. Oh, my. oh these are really nice. So that's what I'm saying. This looks like garbage. You can see it's kind of... the like a whitish color but look at these <gasps> these are really beautiful and they're heavy so like they looked plastic in this and they look they you know you can definitely feel that they're glass they a uh, look at how sparkly they are so yeah these are really pretty um i want to say these are uh, four by six but let me Check that out for you. There's six and five by six. Let's get a blue color. And again, these were super cheap. Oh, these are gorgeous. I should leave these out to do some snowflake designs with these and get a little container put them on my desk they are beautiful wow and there's these guys actually i might do take a couple of these containers and do some different color blues here These are awesome. <laughs> you know, it's bad too. I do unboxings and I'm like, I need to get more of these. And then end up <laughs> doing some more shopping. Wow. I am stunned at the... So let me... um, I want to show you the difference in the colors. So let's get another triangle for that one. Sorry. There's a third one here, so we'll take a look at all three colors so you can have an idea. So there's the first set. Those are lovely. And then these are an opaque blue. And these, again, in the package, made it look like they were plastic, but oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Oh, my lighting here. These are really, look at the sparkle. You can hear them. Oh, these are really beautiful. These are turquoise. The camera is showing them kind of a, a medium pale blue, but they're actually turquoise. They are stunning. So let's put them next. To, so there's the three blues that I got. I think we need to set those aside. Let's see if we can make some... <clears throat> snowflakes with those then I showed you this one this is bicone and they are beautiful I'm trying to think if it's a strand of 50 or 100 let's do my cheat and trick here for counting 2 4 6 8 10, 12, 14. Yeah, this is uh, 100. 
and they are really pretty too. So I think we better leave those there so we can get the, uh, do some snowflakes jewelry. Then we have, and I mean, I'm obsessed with orange. So actually, I think I know why I got this now, because with this kind of little bit mustardy yellow, um, it was to get the idea of like the 70s colors and make some kind of retro jewelry. So these are, these are really pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't get over how all the bezeling. Let me get that in there. There. Let's take a look at the yellow out of the package. I actually have some videos. Somebody had suggested me doing an ASMR video and I have a whole bunch of crystals I think bicones and ceramic beads to do some AM ASMR videos so stay tuned for that I was just thinking about that because of the crinkling paper and you know what's funny <laughs> my wife hates the sound of crinkling paper <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's those guys okay so let's put these guys oh, I don't want to get spilled and we clear off these and we'll open the next set of goodies. So those these guys. Let me just take the first one. So you are going to flip when you see these. Let me grab one of the ones that I... So here's the thing. Let's take a look at this. You can see. <laughs> this is basically the same plastic or resin cabochon but they have it in this gold setting and it is amazing let me put these out here so there's that one there that these look smaller let me see. yeah so these are the the actual um the inside is smaller on these here so they're actually this they're probably both six mil once you um, take in the account for the uh, the bezel part. And look at, this is a Monty, I guess they call it, where you have the four holes. So you can either use these like strung on a bracelet or you can do some bead embroidery with it and you have access to the four corners. That is awesome. These are really pretty. Unbelievable. So this this is the set that I was like, what? These are amazing. But you know, it's good to have the others. So let's put these in here. Put in there. So needless to say, I bought the different all the different colors the ones with the gold on the outside and the ones with the silver on the outside so there's a few in this package and I want to say some were 50 and some were a hundred in a package but I'll have to yeah there's a couple of 100s in this so there is this color here with the silver that's really pretty these are amazing. And again, they've got the corners for sewing. And that's the other thing. I mean, you can sew it on to other stuff too. It doesn't have to be. So let me, I'm thinking I might try and organize this, but I didn't think this through. <laughs> Let's go here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. This stuff's hard to grab with your fingers. Okay. So I think I, I might just open these and put them back in the bag and sort through them later. <gasps> these are really nice. <gasps> so again, I looked at these, like I took them out of the bubble envelope and didn't actually take them out of the bag. So they are even more amazing. Now I am noticing a slight difference in, if you see this one here has this kind of, 
um, purpley blue iridescence and that one seems to be a little more white so there is some inconsistencies in the finish but you know what not a big deal I think there's enough of these if I was making something I would kind of pick through and pick the ones I wanted so I am going to actually put these in here and grab my container again so yeah, this one was a hundred because it's not fitting in the oh, There we go. It just fit. That's awesome. Let me just leave this here. Here's the other thing. These bags are a little nicer than the cellophane bags. You can kind of see what they are. And there's the pearl. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. Just lovely so we'll put those guys oh see what happened that one got mixed in this totally doesn't look like it's gonna fit look they must have put more in this one look at the difference oh sorry look at the difference this one is flat and this one's like totally at the top If I was bored, I might count them, but I don't really. Ah, I'm not going to count them. So let's take a look. I'm just moving everything everywhere. There we go. Then we have these. So silver. Let me see if I oh, wow, these are gorgeous. They're amazing. Wow. I am. Right now, I don't have my computer on, and that's how I add the links. So later in the day, when I have some time, I'll turn on my computer and get the links, because I think definitely you're going to want to look at these for sure. And you probably don't want to be searching. Oh, these went in the wrong bin. I found since I had my surgery that my fingers aren't as nimble with the... Uh, look at these. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look at this. Let's grab one and show you. Look at that. Turn it over. These are just gorgeous. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can get this in without dropping them everywhere. That's better. Oh, wait till you see these. <laughs> we got some gold and they are pretty. <gasps> Look at these. These are gorgeous. Wow. These are really nice. I'll have to do something. I have to figure out some kind of stringing bracelet design for these, which is shouldn't be too hard. If you did like um a right angle weave and then put these on top of the bracelet, on top of the right angle weave, I think that would look amazing. So then we have these, look, there's a stray pearl. <laughs> So these are 50s. You can tell the how many is in the bag. So let's put this one. Do I have? Yeah, that was from the other. Look at these. So this is turquoise. Yeah, you can see the turquoise color. So it's funny those other beads didn't show up turquoise. These are lovely. Go there. So those were turquoise with like an AB on it because these next one, look, actually these have an AB too. I think there's dark turquoise and light turquoise. Let's take a look at these. Oh, these are gorgeous. I need more. I'm going to run through these for sure. 
Because if I did a right angle weave and put these on, well, there's 50, so you probably wouldn't. You can make three to four bracelets with it if you used one for every right angle weave. They are gorgeous. in there look at these so this is a bag of a hundred this is weird I'm gonna have to look at that why there was hundreds and fifties it, it all came from the same seller so wow these are really stunning Okay, this is going to be a problem. I have a feeling. <laughs> Get to see me mess these up. I did it. One got away. La, 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 la. This is how you make your own mixes for super cheap. <laughs> Look at that. You know, it's funny, I'm just looking at these and I'm like, oh, I should have put these in a separate container, like all these Monty's and Cabochons in another, <laughs> but it's, it's so hard. You could like drive yourself nuts trying to organize your stuff when you have the amount that I have. So then there's these purple. Oh. So again, I'm seeing some inconsistency in the color comparison, but you know what? I, you know, if this was something that you were buying specifically for a project, I might do a dispute. But you know what? For what I'm using them for, I'm not too concerned about the... It, it would depend. It seems like there's probably about... Oh, this one's really bad. You know what? I might do a dispute on this one because this one's messed up big time it didn't it didn't get stamped in so it must be a machine that puts these in and it cracked it yeah I am going to put these aside and do a dispute on the color difference I have a video on how to do a dispute with AliExpress but just quickly I'll say don't bother contacting the seller the seller is going to try to negotiate with you AliExpress has a system it's so big that you put it on and just request a refund without return and you will get it's a computer so if you answer all the questions and I always put the key phrase when it asks to the description I say um, you know whatever is wrong with it just like quick words and then I say unusable item unusable and then make sure you put a picture and it you know what it I'm pretty sure because it's a computer you wouldn't even have to put a picture of what it is if you put any picture it would actually give you the the um, refund but I mean by all means just quickly take a picture with your phone if you're using your phone or on your computer whatever so yeah I'm gonna look at that one and then this is the last one of these look at these Lily. so these are a teal greeny teal color and they are really pretty again and there's 50 of those the other thing when i used to buy off of ebay all the time i used to count everything i don't anymore but you know what there's some items you should count like things like clasps and stuff like that because there's certain sellers that I feel and this is just my opinion intentionally um, put a lower amount so definitely count those and I usually do a dispute with those and I'll do a um, percentage of the price I paid for however many is missing and I always get the money back so 
these are lovely. So these are for purse charms. So this is, and here's the other thing with um, class. So that looks like the, oh, it's just, um, I think they put like some plant material in this to keep it dry so it doesn't, the moisture doesn't rust them. So that's probably what that was. Here's the thing with these guys. I would definitely test every one out because I have had probably just about every spring class that I've had like this has some that don't open at all. So definitely check them. But these are awesome. These are going to be great for purse charms. So where should I put those? I should have got my container in. I'll just put them back in the bag. And we have some silver. These are quite big. You can see, you know, from my hand. Let me, these are really pretty and shiny and nice and chunky. Perfect for purse charms. So you can see. That is a 27, wow, millimeters. That is really pretty. You see how they, oh yeah, they're nice and smooth. Like I can do it with the, my fingernail. It's got a really nice big loop so you can put multiple things on there. Which is kind of nice because if you were to put a, a jump ring on this, because some of them are smaller, put a jump ring on this and if it gets hooked on something, you'll lose the other part. But this is not going anywhere because it's closed. These are really pretty. Two, four, six, eight, ten, just checking. Some gold. Got to have me some gold. So this, I, I, I can never remember if it's Casey Gold or what, but I was watching um, Brittany from Turquoise Street. She was talking about how she doesn't like the um, that really yellowy orange gold. She calls it macaroni and cheese gold. <laughs> and that's my favorite. I like the bling. These are really pretty. So this is the other type of gold. And again, these are really nice. I'm going to make some purse charms. I got all jazzed about purse charms and ordered stuff and then never got around to it. Like I did one or two videos and that was it. But definitely these would be great like to do some quick short videos and ideas for... Um, gifts for people so I'm gonna try I have a goal to um, do 25 videos before the end of the year and that would bring me to 700 videos total since the pandemic started which is about a year and a half um, because I didn't start exactly when the pandemic started so that's pretty incredible to have that many videos but yeah, so I'm going to try and do some stuff that to show you, give you some ideas for gifts for people. So if you have some of these supplies. So this is a, so it's a cat charm, but it's the outline. And these are meant for doing uh, resin stuff inside. So I'm not quite sure how that works. I'll have to watch some videos. I don't have any resin or a lamp for curing it so it's probably not something I would do but I thought these would be great again for purse charms so these are really pretty they're nice and thick look they're big too look they're even I think they're 30 millimeters so yeah that's super cool if you're into cats which I am I have my babies and I don't know why I didn't get the silver. It's, sometimes the silver doesn't look as nice as the gold. So that's probably why I didn't get them. Then 
ellipses. So actually, they're meant to be like this because the bat is upside down. But when bats are upside down, their wings aren't out. So I'm going to go with it like that. Anyway, depends on what you're using it for. These are cute Halloween kind of stuff. And yeah, so let's see if what we can make with these guys. Then I got some of these and I'm kind of obsessed with Alice in Wonderland stuff like this. So I've been wanting to do some Alice in Wonderland um, bracelets and I haven't gotten around to it. So I have some other stuff like this, like the rabbit and Alice and stuff. But this is really nice. This is like the clock. So I would use this as a pendant and put something really nice in there. Maybe some bead embroidery. You could do some stitching and then glue it in. And you can patina these as well. And these are massive. Look at this. So me. This is almost 40, 38 millimeters. They're really nice. And that, there's one left and that's it. And this is the antique gold. And of course, these are super heavy. So I think you would have to use, you could actually use this as a purse charm as well. Um, it would be cool to do a purse charm where this is the bottom of the purse charm on the bottom here and then have all kinds of stuff at the top. Yeah, I'll think of something for these guys. So that is that. Let's take a look at these guys again. Woohoo! <laughs> so thanks for joining me and uh, I'm sure there's more in the mail right now. <laughs> but I'm not trudging through the snow just to get it. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Yes, I am. <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you in the next video.